Okay, now I'm going to talk about connecting Rapid Miner 5 to a SQL Server database. Uh, we're going to look at using a named instance as well as connecting via uh, Windows authentication. So a few things you want to check. If you're running SQL Server on your local machine, then uh, you should check to make sure the SQL Server browser service is running. So hit the start button, go to run, type in services.msc, hit OK. This opens up your services window. Okay, go to the uh, SQL Server browser, make sure that's started. Okay, Ra that's Rapid Miner needs that to service to be running in order to find your SQL Server. Okay, you should also go to SourceForge JTDS. Okay, if you want to use Windows authentication, you should download uh, the latest JTDS driver. Okay, and then you want to take the, uh, assuming you have a 32-bit uh, Windows, the x86 folder, SSO folder, and the NTLM, so New Technology LAN Manager Authorization DLL. Okay, you want to copy that, and then Put it in your Windows System 32 folder. Okay, and just paste it in there. And that will allow for JTDS uh, Windows authentication. I'm just gonna close all that up. So now, what you wanna do is create a uh, database connection. So go to Tools menu, Manage Database Connections. Okay, I'll just call this SQL Server. Uh, Microsoft SQL Server JTDS. Host is the domain name or IP address. In this case, just localhost. 1433 is your default port, which you want to have uh, running. Okay, database scheme is the is the name of the database. In this case, it's Bella. And if you want to use Windows authentication, you have to leave username and password blank. Okay. Um, and if you're using a SQL Server in named instance, then you have to do a little trick here. Put a colon after the database name and type in instance equals SQL Express or whatever the name of your instance is, okay? And we're gonna test that out. Connection's okay. Gonna save that, okay. Um, so now we should be able to connect to SQL Server. So I'm gonna use the read database operator Predefined connection, SQL, query. Looks like it's connecting okay. I'll just pick the top five from the invoice table. Output to the results window. Hit okay. Boom, and there you go. Okay, you get five examples. Now, if you use the URL version in SQL Server, okay, AppMiner requires the username and password in this window. So that is a slight flaw in Rapid Miner, and hopefully they can fix that soon. Okay. Um, and another way to connect is to uh, use import data on the file menu, import database table. Okay, you can use the pre-existing connection. Looks like everything is okay. Hit next. Grab a subset of my data. Next. Okay, and well, I already did this before, but we'll overwrite it uh, and put it in the uh, database uh, folder of my repository. Finish, and you're done. So, go back here, open it up, and there's your data. So if you want to import it you know, into RapidMiner permanently um, and not worry about live data, then that's the way to go, and otherwise, um, you can use the read operator or read database operator. And that's it for now. Thanks a bunch.